I don't believe in hustling at all. I believe you do your best for a certain part of the day and then you take your time off for yourself. When I am on social media and or otherwise when I look at my peers like people my age I feel like I'm already way behind them. When I see okay when I call my friends and they're like yeah t- today is my work okay tomorrow also is my work and this I'm like okay so am I the only one villa here who is just doing nothing and just sitting over there? That's awesome. <laughs>
which is why I completely differ from all of you. I'm not believing in hustling at all. I believe you do your best for sort of part of the day and then you take your time off for yourself because a healthy life is where you have both things and both things I don't mean you uh, you know like you, maybe you're a film critic so you're working on films and you go back and you watch films again but then where do you cut off where, are, where is the distinction between doing something you love and doing something that you know you're doing because it's a job if there is that difference so I personally I don't believe in hustling as for the way of the run of the mill I'll do my best till my body and my mind permits and I'll enjoy it to the fullest after that I want to switch off and I want to do, I want to play my uke I want to listen to music I want to have a drink with my friends whatever it is that I want to do I want to really set a part time on my calendar to do that because as part of, as a human being I think I'm a social animal and I have certain things that I should be doing which doesn't at all involve my workplace or my work However, you know there are people uh, like us I mean I personally feel extremely fortunate to be doing something that I love but there are people who sometimes you know do not get the leverage or the opportunity to do something that they love and yeah. the only option that's left is to you know find time to do things that you love and that's another hustle altogether and hustle is probably the only concept that there is for them then like no, you, so I think the hustling culture and the this conversation we're all having is rooted in privilege. Mm, yeah. We're talking about hustling because we have a yeah, job yeah, yeah. because we there are people who have to like just hustle because they don't have food to eat or a roof above their heads. And so then hustle is no longer a choice. That's how it began with the concept that you know for us, even if it's a minute bit of choice, we still have that choice, which is so rooted in privilege. And I recognize it. I recognize the fact that you know there is so much privilege in me that I can say that oh I need a day of the weekend off I cannot do without it and I will not compromise on it because I believe that that's what really keeps me stable that if I, if I set out to do 7 days a week 24 7 which some of CEOs big CEOs have endorsed I'm not going to be ever able to do my best because to do my best there is that recharging of myself that's needed and you know I feel there are times I can be like when I am on social media and or otherwise, when I look at my peers, like people my age, I feel like I'm already really behind them and like there's always, I wouldn't call it pressure but I still feel like I'm extremely behind. There are people who have side businesses, too many multiple projects going on at the same time and they have, they have their hands on so many different things. At one point, I'm still thinking that is this what I, like that's one thing that drives me. Glorification yeah. of it all. That's a glorification of being busy. busy. But that's interesting because you, it drives it you. It drives me. I what feel motivated. To, what, I want to know what it does to the flow. So yeah, it's because. actually, uh, it's actually a dual thing for me because when I see, okay, when I call my friends and they're like, yeah, t today is my work. Okay, tomorrow also is my work and this. I'm like, okay, so am I the only one villa here who's just doing nothing and just sitting over there? But once I go to my office and then I'm like, yeah, ghar jana hai. I, need to, I need my friends, I need everyone. So I think it differs all together. So, so now what about yeah. you? This whole constant people around you hustling and which also sort of drives that narrative through you. What is that? What can mm -hmm. like this? Uh, actually, uh, other people, this notion of other people, I've been fighting ever since mm -hmm. I've stepped into this world. So now I think I don't really care about what other people are doing because they're all going to be it, it's okay and, and I know that I'm a little different mm -hmm. from the rest of the crowd but somewhere when people say that you're working all the time and you're busy I think that's an excuse to not do a lot of things because I don't think it's I don't think people can literally work 12 hours, 14 hours in a day and then still be happy with themselves and go to bed yeah. I think it's not honest they yeah. are somewhere making an excuse to not do other things that other people are doing and they don't yeah. really want to do for example like one of you mentioned fitness i think it's a part of your lifestyle you don't need to take out extra time or like two hours every day you get up everybody gets up at you know like a certain time to go to office you just have to manage your time just take out those half an hour instead of just lying there on the couch and you know taking two hours to sip your tea or whatever whatever mm -hmm. daily if you want if, if you want it enough you find time. time so yeah. it's just an excuse to you know like so that's what I, that's yeah. exactly what i mirror when i see so many people on social media sort of put out this thing and i know so many friends yeah. who are constantly like oh i don't have a weekend off oh yeah. you know i never well this month is a month yeah. that i cannot have a single yeah. hour off and i can never meet you through this whole month because i'm so busy I think that's absolute yeah. rubbish because 
Number one, I feel sorry for you yeah. that that's your life where even if it's like you know your friend or somebody you know has a medical emergency, you are probably not going to be able to make it mm -hmm. because you're so busy. That friend will probably not even call you because you project this image of yours which is so busy. Yeah. The workaholic image, mm -hmm. right? Because which is what social media does. And like, oh, you know that person is so busy, you're not even going to reach out for help. <laughs> you're like, oh, you know that person is working 14 hours. Or what fun out of call will, will that person give me time for? Mm -hmm. But that's what I also believe in that it's so negative and I feel sorry for them because uh, it's just a human yeah. human being I am where you know if you don't have time for the things you love and the people you love, what is the point of life itself? Because if you if you're not there to pick up a call and a friend needs to call you because you're busy, what is the point of the work you're doing, of the hustling, of the money you're earning? What is the end goal then? What actually the people goal? they actually make this professional life the whole world. But we don't realize that it is just a segment of your entire life. So you need to make time for your family, for your friends as well. Right. But for people like, you know, people who've chosen this as uh, people who are extremely passionate about the work they do, they actually enjoy doing it. I mean, I, I think yes, they that's, where, be, that's yes. where I disagree that's with you part. guys on that part. No, I agree with you here because, you know, when you say that you don't have like time for friends and family and stuff like that, I feel after a certain age, I don't know why it just such a big thing here for this discussion but you know after a point like friends they all have their own lives they all have their own work yeah. you know so like you can't expect all the time for everybody to be there and I think it's it, I think for us also to have these expectations that just because that's my friend is going to be available all the time I think it's wrong because for example like right now we're here we're colleagues right so if this is also a friend circle I mean this is also a fun time I'm working with you guys I'm having fun with you guys and I go back to my family, it's a complete package. And right? personally, that's all there is for me. I mean, I can say this for myself. This is all that there is for me. Somebody who's come from, you know, like I, this is not my hometown where I am working, right? So for me, literally work is everything. And that's, that isn't because... Uh, and your school family. friends, college friends, you're going to meet them once in a month, right? Yeah. So it's not that they're not your friends. Obviously, they're your best friends. You've grown up with them. but. You don't spend your entire day you with don't them. Yeah, try over I mean, the hustling. And you yeah. know, at the end of the day, our family is also kind of like all the people that we're connected with. The fact that you just said that you know, what's the point of doing it if you can't really find time for your friends? I think all of these friends, these family members, all of them are also somewhere down the line looking for our professional growth. Like they're also equally, like they're also connected and invested in our yeah. professional growth. And I think that's how our professional growth gives me the kick to keep at it and keep doing it because I think that is what gives me happiness at the end of the day. Okay, I think that's been a great discussion. We have very, very few points, I think, on life or hustling in general. Yeah. Uh, but I think we could wrap up on that. Absolutely. Let's hustle. Let's hustle. <laughs> or not. <laughs> or not.